So I was down here during the floods the other day and there was a platypus working its way upstream, which in itself was just mind blowing. I thought it might have just been doing a poo. And then walking along here today, I noticed this hole and I'd really love to know what's inside there. You can just see it's, you know, it's the profile of a platypus. So let's do it. <laughs> so I've got an endoscope, kind of a little camera for look inside of stuff. I'm gonna put that down here, just see what's happening. Let's have a look here. Uh, what would you do if a bill just appeared in <laughs> at the end of it? Fleeting views of a tunnel. I'm not sure what that is. It's kind of good to know that it's at least that deep. So it's not a really just a token sort of scratch on the surface. And I mean, it could have just been made as a temporary shelter. I'm actually seeing stuff now, which is pretty cool. The wall of, of the burrow, you know, assuming it's a burrow. Is that just an hour's work, three hours work, half an hour's work? I just, um, I really want to go that way. The issue is this hole turns a 90 degree corner and we're having a bit of trouble getting the, uh, the endoscope to go around that corner. Yeah, that's addictive, but frustrating. <laughs> I really want to see what's there, but we probably need a, a remote control cockroach with a camera on its back. <laughs> the dream would be to see a platypus start a burrow and disappear, you know, to actually see them dig a burrow.